hello everyone welcome back to the channel so for the past months i've been sharing with you listing of properties that are for sale across the length and breadth of jamaica and if you are thinking about buying a property buying your home then i know that can be a very exciting time for anyone however if you do not plan properly then it can be a process that's um, frustrating and daunting and so today i'm not going to be sharing with you sharing with you any properties that are for sale i'm just going to be sharing with you a tip that will help you in the process whenever you do decide to make your purchase remember to like the video please subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so now saving for your deposit now for other persons who are well off financially they might be able to purchase a property cash out of pocket for most persons for the majority of the persons who are shopping or in the market to purchase a property they will have to acquire that property via financing however some persons are not aware that you know you need to see for your deposit now there are financial institutions who will offer you a hundred percent financing but even when the mortgage company is fully financing your purchase, you would still need some money. So in essence, you need to be saving up that deposit. Now, it's typically um, you will be required to have a deposit of at least 10% of the purchase price to be paid at the initial stage of the home purchasing process in Jamaica. So you need to save for this and you know if if you're planning on purchasing a property in the near future then i'm hoping that you would have your deposit saved up if your plan is to acquire a property a property within another year or five years then you should have sufficient time once you budget and put a plan in place to save for that deposit it is recommended that you set up automatic savings through your bank account and you know do something that will enable you to earn extra cash so if you know that you'll be looking at property within the price range of 25 million dollars 10 percent deposit will be 2.5 million dollars plus there are going to be other fees associated with the transaction so in essence you'll be looking at about 20 percent of the purchasing price of the property 10 percent as your deposit and another 10 percent as your bank fees and your legal fees so i would recommend that if you're salary then you shake up a standing order that when your salary goes to your bank account you move a percentage of that money to another account or think about ways that you can you know earn some other income on the side do something extra i do hope that this you'll find this tip useful and i do hope that when the time comes for you to make that purchase you will have your deposit on hand and so the process will not be daunting again remember to like this video subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so and i'll see you in my next upload